Duluth. Oh, there's a beauty. Here we go. Here we go. The Supreme Court, they didn't even report it. Yeah. And they still say he 47 years of betrayal and 47 years of failure. As uh, all of you know, the, uh, the president and the first lady tested positive uh, for COVID-19. Uh, they remain in good spirits. Uh, uh, the president does have mild symptoms, and as uh, as we look to try to uh, make sure that not only his health and safety and welfare is good, we continue to look at that for all of the American people. Uh, he uh, he continues to be not only in good spirits but very energetic. Uh, we've we've uh, talked a, a number of times this morning. I got the. Uh, five or six things that he had tasked me to do like I do every single morning. And uh, uh, he, he uh, is certainly wanting to make sure that we stay engaged. In good spirits, uh, uh, the president does have mild symptoms. And as uh, I think uh, the other thing that is, is critically important, uh, the, the doctors continue to uh, monitor both his health and the health of the first lady. Uh, we'll continue to do that. They'll, they'll be glad to provide some, some updates uh, later today as, as we look at this. How are the stimulus talks uh, going on Capitol Hill? We have a president that uh, is not only on the job, will remain on the job, and uh, I'm optimistic that uh, he'll have a very quick and speedy recovery. Well, I'm not going to get into any particular treatment. Uh, the doctor will continue to uh, uh, provide uh, expertise uh, uh, in the residence. Uh, he's, he's in the residence now, uh, and uh, in, in true fashion, he's probably critiquing the way that I'm answering these questions. Uh, uh, and uh, I, I can tell you that a, a number of us uh, will uh, uh, be reporting back to him on, on the, the task at hand. So what are the to make sure that I get done, and I'm, I'm sure that I will actually. Uh, we, we've tested all of our core staff, and I can tell you that uh, uh, you know, Mr. Mr. Kushner, Mr. Scavino, myself, a number of, uh, of us uh, have been tested, have, have come back with, with negative re results. And, and yet, at, at the same time, I fully expect uh, that as this virus continues to go on, other people in the White House will certainly uh, 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 have a, a positive test result. And uh, we've got the mitigation uh, plan in place to make sure that the government not only continues to, uh, to move forward, but the, the work of the American people uh, continues to work for, uh, move forward. And so... A you have mask. to understand, if you look, I mean, I have a mask right here. I put a mask on, you know, when I think I need it. Tonight, as an example, everybody's had a test and you've had social distancing and all of the things that you have to. But I Just wear like masks rallies. when needed. When needed, I wear masks. Okay, let me ask. I don't have to, I don't wear masks like him. Every time you see him, he's got a mask. He could be speaking 200 feet away from it. He shows up with the biggest mask I've ever seen. By Easter, this would be gone away. By the warm weather, it'd be gone. Miraculous. Like a miracle. And by the way, maybe you could inject some bleach in your arm, and that would take care of it. This is the that same man. That was said sarcastically, that was you seemed, know that. I, that I, was I, said sarcastically. And so here's the deal. We will end the pandemic, and we will enter a new era of unprecedented prosperity, cooperation, and peace. As we pursue this bright future, we must hold accountable the nation which unleashed this plague onto the world, China. In the earliest days of the virus, China locked down travel domestically while allowing flights to leave China and infect the world. China condemned my travel ban on their country 
even as they canceled domestic flights and locked citizens in their homes. The Chinese government and the World Health Organization, which is virtually controlled by China, falsely declared that there was no evidence of human-to-human -human transmission. Later, they falsely said people without symptoms would not spread the disease. The United Nations must hold China accountable for their actions.